Good morning. Good morning. This Mass is being streamed live, and for those of you who are joining us via the internet, welcome. We're glad you could be with us this morning. Today's Mass intentions are for Iris Studemeyer. And today we celebrate also the Feast of St. Rio, the great Pope and Doctor of the Church. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge your sins and ask for God's love and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to, and you, to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have, have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in, in what, what I have done, in what, what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my, fault, through my, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, I ask the Virgin Mary, Mary ever Virgin, Virgin, all the, the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who never allowed the gates of hell to prevail against your church, firmly founded on the apostolic rock, grant her, we pray, that through the intercession of Pope St. Leo, she may stand firm in your truth and know the protection of lasting peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Philemon. Beloved, I have experienced much joy and encouragement from your love, because the hearts of the holy ones have been refreshed by you, brother. Therefore, Although I have the full right in Christ to order you to do what is proper, I rather urge you out of love, being as I am, Paul, an old man, and now also a prisoner for Christ Jesus. I urge you on behalf of my child Onesimus, who, whose father I have become in my imprisonment, who was once useless to you, but is now useful to both you and me. I am sending him, that is, my own heart, back to you. I should have liked to retain him for myself so that he might serve me on your behalf in my imprisonment for the gospel. But I did not want to do anything without your consent so that the good you do might not be forced but voluntary. Perhaps this is why he was away from you for a while that you might have him back forever, no longer as a slave, but more than a slave, a brother, beloved especially to me, but even more so to you, as a man and in the Lord. So if you regard me as a partner, welcome him as you would me. And if he has done you any injustice or owes you anything, charge it to me, I, Paul, Write this in my own hand, I will pay. May I not tell you that you owe me your very self. Yes, brother, may I profit you in the Lord. Refresh my heart in Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks to be to God. Blessed, he, blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Blessed, blessed is he Jesus. whose help is the God of Jacob. Amen. The Lord secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. Blessed is he whose help. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Blessed is he. The fatherless and the widow he sustains but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. Blessed, Blessed is. Is.
We bless you, Father. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, go and proclaim the good news. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the vine, you are the branches, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me, and I in him, will bear much fruit. Alleluia, alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, Jesus said in reply, the coming of the kingdom of God cannot be observed, and no one will announce, look, here it is, or there it is, for behold, the kingdom of God is among you. Then he said to his disciples, the days will come when you will long to see one of the days of the Son of Man, but you will not see it. There will be those who will say to you, look, there he is, or look, here he is. Do not go off, do not run in pursuit, for just as lightning flashes and lights up the sky from one side to the other, so will the Son of Man be in his day. But first he must suffer greatly and be rejected by this generation. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The kingdom of God cannot be observed. Jesus challenges us in our journey of life, especially in today's lives. Wherever I go to Tanzania, I talk to some of my brother priests and even to some of my friends who were pastors from different uh, churches, and I came to realize that each day there is something new of the churches emerging in my country, Tanzania. And I always ask them, what, is, what are they looking for? What are they aspiring for? Because even in our Catholic churches, we see the growing number of people they leave. Where do they go? They go to another denominations. What are they looking for? What is that missing from our own church? We have some of the answers like the first reading today. Paul. He's an old person now. He's in jail. And he's find so difficult even to continue to proclaim the good news. But still, he's eager to proclaim the good news. And now he introduced Onesimo, the one who was been looking as a slave, but more as an enemy for what he did. And now Paul is now telling the community, receive my brother Onesimo as you used to receive me. I'm here to tell you that he is the instrument of Christ. He's here to ponder and to proclaim the good news with love and peace. Paul reminds us that uh, no one is perfect. We have our own struggles in lives. Onesmo, he knew what he did in his relationship to his boss, but later he changed his way of life. And Paul now, he introduced him to go back where his brothers and sisters are. And he reminds us that to be united with Christ always is to love one another. He challenges us that he wants us to love one another as Jesus himself loves us. But sometimes it's very difficult. St. John Paul, he used to say, no one can say that 
I don't have anything to get from other people. I don't want anything. And no one can say, I don't have anything to offer. We need each other. God has given us, each one has something to bring to the community. And no one can say that he has nothing to bring to the community. So love one another is the key. And let us focus like what Paul reminds us, that when we love one another, we can even recognize our challenges and our weakness in lives. And when we recognize our weaknesses, we can walk to, into one's shoes and support each other. And that is the message of our lives. And that's the good news that we are all loved by Jesus. Amen. Please turn. Lord Jesus, we thank you for allowing us always to recognize our weaknesses and also to embrace your peace. And for this, we pray. For the youth going to the race retreat at Triple R Ranch this weekend, may they be open to a life-changing experience, we pray to the Lord. For all the YOA that they use this weekend to do something fun with their entire family, as there is no YOA this weekend, may God bless them, we pray to the Lord. For our parish lay leaders, both staff and volunteers, to be energized by our new vision and continue to transform lives for Christ, we pray to the Lord. For those preparing for next Tuesday's Justice and Peace Forum on mental health, may the Holy Spirit bless their efforts to increase awareness of the mental health Consents in our community, we pray to the Lord. For St. Pope Leo I, who dedicated his ministry to unifying the church, to intercede for us today to bring all Christians together in service to God, we pray to the Lord. For all mothers who are experiencing difficult pregnancies, May Mary, our mother, intercede for them and protect them and their unborn child. We pray to the Lord. We ask thee through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, who become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, who become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Through the offerings made here, we pray, O Lord, graciously shed light on your church so that your flock may everywhere prosper and that under your governance, the shepherds may become pleasing to your name, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, our Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, 
For as on the festival of St. Rio the Great, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we are claimed. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to that who have called us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Barry, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Iris Stewmeyer, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that she was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also, our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in their hope, the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, Lord, daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil, gracious, grand peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope 
in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace Thank you so much. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless those called to the sap of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Peter said to Jesus, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus replied, You are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. Let us pray. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray to govern the church you have nourished by this holy meal, so that firmly directed, she may enjoy ever greater freedom and persevere in, in integrity of religion through Christ our Lord. On behalf of Deacon Jim, I want to say thank you for your prayers and for your participation. And for those who are watching online, also thank you for your prayers and for your participation. Jesus is telling us, do not listen to those who are telling you that they have seen. He's there, he's here. Still focus on what his message is all about. Jesus is in you, he's in me. And Jesus wants us to love one another. He wants us to continue to forgive one another. As long as we fulfill our mission, we fulfill what he has been entrusted us, we are with him, and he's always present to us. Take courage and walk through, because he's always with us, and listen to our needs. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God.